Hey guys, what's up? It's Megan here and today I'm going to talk to you about a concept that will totally change your life. I know that when I learned about this my mind was blown and everything got a lot easier after that, you know? Like life has just been a lot easier since really deeply understanding this concept. So the concept I'm going to talk about is impermanence, uh, which you may have heard about before, you may have not. It comes from a Buddhist philosophy, but it really is something that's so um, relevant in life in every moment. So how this will make you happier and make your life better is th there's two pieces. So the first piece is that we can recognize that everything is impermanent. Everything is, has a beginning and an end. It arises and falls. You know, it lives and then it no longer lives. So instead of attaching to things and ideas and relationships and, um, you know, milestones and things like that we can recognize you know what this is going to come and go and I can really just kind of like enjoy the ride rather than feeling like I have to reach some sort of finite place because that finite place actually isn't finite it's going to come and go we can recognize that like our health and our body and our friendships and relationships and you know status and our material items the weather like everything is constantly changing and you know just on the note of relationships I mean of course it is really important to have long relationships in one's life, but ultimately either by death or by moving or, you know, by a breakup or whatever, like relationships do end too. So it's not that we shouldn't attach, but we just have to be mindful that, you know, grief is also a part of life and loss is also a part of life and that's normal and that's natural. So when we can recognize kind of what the greatest cause of our suffering is this sort of attaching to things and expecting us to have sensations and experiences that last forever, we can let go and kind of rest in this flux that our life is constantly in. So that's the first way that impermanence can make you happier. The other way is that it actually is a really wonderful thing to remind yourself of when you're going through a difficult time. So when you're having really painful feelings, when you're having really horrible thoughts, um, when you're feeling really consumed by a tough time, or you know, you're feeling physical pain, reminding yourself that, hey, this is impermanent, this too shall pass, this will come and go that can help you hold on or be able to cope through that difficult period because you know the thoughts are going to come and go or the feelings are going to come and go and you can kind of watch them with that mindful, compassionate attitude we talked about in the last few videos, um, really practicing a lot of self-compassion and are able to um, seek refuge in that idea that impermanence is pervasive in our, our world and kind of just a fundamental construct of reality. So. Yeah, so that's basically, those are the two ways why impermanence can really make your life a lot better. And I just encourage you to sort of scan your life and recognize like how, um, how does impermanence affect my life and how can I use it to my advantage? How can I use it to remind myself not to attach to things that I don't necessarily have to attach to or that in areas where I will attach, you know, it's inevitable that there might be a loss and that's okay. That's a normal part of life. And to remind myself that when I'm going through a difficult time, impermanence is there for me to remind me that it will pass. So yeah, so that's your little lesson for today and I hope you can use it to your advantage. Okay, bye.